So I made it to the Atlanta airport and now I just need to find where to get a rental car. I think that's gonna be the best option is just to rent a car versus catch an Uber and not having to hug this thing around. So that's the goal, find maybe rental cars. I don't know if you're seeing this, but if you're seeing this, but Enterprise just saying has an exotic car collection. Wonder how much those go for a day. All right, so I ended up renting a car. Um, I checked over it was like forty dollars from here to the hotel, and I'm hoping my friend shows up and I can just return this car today, just pay for it for the day, and then. Um, you know, ride with him and everything so but um yep so got a chevy cruise it's pretty sweet all right orange bound here we go all right all right so we made it and uh here's the rental nice nice cruise man chevy cruise we've been cruising in atlanta my buddy my buddy just uh let me know he backed out on me, so he's not coming. So I'm running an orange solo, but that's cool. Meet some new people. and um, one of the main things that's been standing out to me is um, the idea of, of just connecting and so um, two sessions I went in today was basically reminding us about just connecting and building community with people and sometimes ministers that's, for you, that's what this conference is for but um, ministers connect with a lot of people but it's very shallow um, in a way um, it's, it's hey how are you how's your family doing it's it's not really getting real um, and involved in very genuine community and it's saying that you need to do that and that um, so just connecting with people and, and sometimes we can we can avoid people and making connections um, and one of the speaker gave a great example of just like when you're on a plane or out and about you know sometimes we'll throw the headphones in to say hey you don't talk to me or whatever but you know just looking for ways to connect with people and it's kind of funny my friend that was supposed to meet me here didn't show and so I'm here alone and it's really encouraging me to connect with people because um, you know it's, it's not I'm not here with somebody I know I guess so that's kind of neat how that's going down and then the last one that I really enjoyed um, was how can you tell um, Sunday morning is working and so basically it was talking about you know looking at numbers but not just not just measuring attendance but act of active people um, how involved are people who are attending in a small group um, how how involved are people who are attending involved in a um, in a way of service and so you know measuring measuring uh, those things and he also said that you measure um, basically what you value and so if you value serving in your church if you value community in small groups then you need to be measuring that um, and so um, I thought that was really good and then lastly Reggie Joyner um, really brought it home tonight setting up the week for basically the idea of Monday's coming and so to get out of that one day Sunday thinking of you're just thinking about how many people were in the room for that one hour but what can we do on Sunday to launch and leverage and equip people to be prepared for life during the week and so 
very cool. So thankful to be here. All right, day two, here we go. This is so cool from birth to the time a child's 18 is 936 weeks. Then you go to 884, age Such a great visual. Okay, so I got in traffic for about an hour, and then when I got to the airport, I was probably in the security line for a good, I would say probably an hour and 10 minutes. And so I'm so glad I came when I did because my flight is at 10. So now I'm about to sit down for a little dinner um, and have some corabas. So I got a steak, salad, and some garlic mashed potatoes. And so I'm really excited about it. Had a great time on this trip. Mm -hmm. 